In this example, we're going to still look at calculus um, 5.6, which is concavity and points of inflection, and we're looking at example 6. So this time it says, hey, you're given the second derivative. Find any x values where we've got a point of inflection. So we only have to look at point of inflection. I've already got the second derivative. So I am going to set the second derivative equal to zero to find my critical values. So I'm going to go right into zero product property because they've already nicely factored it for us. Um, I'm going to cube root, which would just make it zero. So I've got x plus two equals zero. So x equals negative two is one value. I'm going to square root, which would be x minus one equals zero. So x equals one is a value. I'm going to go into my sign chart. So I know that I'm going from negative infinity to my first fence is at negative two. My second fence is at one to positive infinity. I'm going to pick some x values. And then I'm going to talk about the second derivative and the original. Actually, I don't even need to really worry about the original this time because it's only asking for points of inflection. So I just need to look at where the sign changes. So I'm not even going to look at the original. Um, I'm going to pick some values. So let's see, I'm going to pick negative 10, 0, and 10. And I'm going to go into my most simplified form of my derivative, which happens to be this guy here. I'm going to start by plugging in a negative 10. So when I plug a negative into this, I would get a negative number and cubing a negative number would get a negative number. Your sign would stay the same, would stay the same. When I put a negative into here, I'm gonna get a negative inside, but it's gonna get squared, so it's gonna go positive. So a negative times a positive would be negative. All right, let's look at zero. So when I put zero in, I'm gonna get a positive and cube a positive, I'm gonna stay positive. I put zero into this, I'm going to get a negative, I'm going to square it, I'm going to go positive. In fact, no matter what I do with that back one, I'm going to be positive. So positive times positive is going to be positive. Let's put in a 10. I'm going to put the 10 in. Into here, I would get a positive number, and a positive number cubed would stay positive. I'm going to get a positive number, a positive number squared would be positive. So I have a positive times a positive, which is positive which means that I am concave. Oh, I don't even need to worry about that. I only need to look at points of inflection. So the only time I had a sign change was at negative two. So we would say that F has a point of inflection at X equals negative two because F double prime changes sign at this point. 